MTG Finance, when should you buy a booster box? I'm the Rhino. Join me on our adventure through Magic the Gathering. Welcome, young mage. I'm the Rhino. About a month ago, I received several booster boxes from Wizards of the Coast. I was so excited that I had to open the Eldritch Moon booster box immediately, but... I kept track of the value of the rares out of that box over the next month. Each day the total TCG player market price of all the rares were recorded. This way we could track the overall value of the box as time went on. You can see from our graph that the total value dropped very quickly. It was a pretty steady drop until the day of Eldritch Moon Pro Tour. The overall value of the box shot up. But in about two weeks, the value was back down to where it was before the Pro Tour. What does this tell us about buying booster boxes? Number one, overall value the overall value will go down. It will happen. Don't expect any different. Number two, the Pro Tour will spike the value of some cards. It may look like the whole box was worth more. Most of the cards continued to drop while a few jumped in value. Number three, most of the rares have the highest value right after the set is released. People don't know which cards have the most value. The week following a set release generally has the highest value of the bulk of your cards. What should we learn from this info? Number one. Buy a booster box because you want a booster box. Not because you think you can make some money. If you want to make money at Magic, go to Alpha Investments and watch Rudy's videos. He buys hundreds of cases and sells boxes, singles, and plays sets of cards. Number two, if there is a card you want, don't buy a booster box and expect to get it. If there is a single card you need, buy that one card or trade for it. Boosters can get expensive if you are only looking for a certain card. Number three, buy a booster box so you can make sealed decks to play with your friends or play pack wars with your friends or draft with your friends it seems like a lot of people say that playing standards is very expensive if you are smart about when you buy a booster box or buy singles you can build the deck for you won for a reasonable price so the answer to the question of when should you buy a booster box is simple. As long as you are buying for the fun of playing, get it when you, you are ready to play with your friends. Tell me what you think of this video in the comments below. When do you buy your booster box? These videos are made possible because of my sponsors and you can be a sponsor too. Check out my Patreon page and tell me what you think. Please like this video, it helps out a lot. Subscribe to be notified when my videos and my giveaways come out. There's no reason not to subscribe. I have more videos coming out soon and until then, Rhino out.